Hello, and welcome to the Ear Purification Education Month in Review for October 2025. Last month, a few ear purifier companies came out with new products. Aeris 3-in-1 filters are now available again in the United States. A somewhat prominent 20-year-old indoor air quality company went out of business. New studies show that there may be a correlation between air pollution and obesity. A study shows air pollution is linked to breast cancer. And we have some other interesting information on wood burning stoves as well, which we'll get into very soon. But first, we'll start off our October summary with Air Doctor. Air Doctor came out with a new air purifier in October called the 4000, and it can get 4 ACH air changes per hour, and 694 square feet with 8-foot ceilings. So it has a lot of airflow. It has a cylindrical-shaped HEPA filter inside, so similar shapes to the filters in the Air Pura, Aller Air, and Austin Air units. And even IQ Air, for the first time, put a cylindrical-shaped HEPA filter in their newest unit, the Autumn Earth which they came out with just a few weeks ago. So this is somewhat of a trend in the industry that I've noticed. And I've seen more companies seem to be coming out with cylindrical shaped filters in their newer products. And I do currently believe in general, air purifiers with cylindrical shaped filters will be able to obtain a better internal seal than air purifiers with perpendicular installed filters for various reasons. And when I say perpendicular installed filters, I'm referring to the more flat filters, which are typically square or rectangular in shape. Think like the Koei 400 or the Air Doctor 3500 or the Winix 5510. All those units have HEPA filters, which are installed in a perpendicular manner. And this internal seal issue is a topic for another video. The new Air Doctor 4000 with the cylindrical shaped HEPA filter is very interesting in that it does not appear to be a smart air purifier, which is very interesting to me as the last unit Air Doctor came out with, the 5500, was in fact a smart unit. And they made the 3500 a smart unit. And most air purifier companies these days, including IQ Air, seem to have gravitated towards creating solutions with all these different smart features. So this was definitely a break from that trend. And the new Air Doctor 4000 with the cylindrical shaped HEPA filter, but no smart features, can be yours for the low price of $800. So get your credit card or get your wife's credit card. I am sure Air Doctor will accept either. And Air Pura also came out with some new units in October as well. And as you probably already know, Air Pura ain't got no time for smart features. Well, they came out with the T400 tobacco smoke air purifier. It has 12 pounds of carbon and it will help remove cigarette and cigar smoke. And they also came out with the T400 DLX as well for heavy tobacco smoke. It also has 12 pounds of carbon, but it has potassium iodide in the carbon to help remove chemicals quicker. These two units are much smaller than the Air Pura T600 and T700 units, which they've had on the market for many years. And I know many customers who have been very happy with the results from the larger T600 and T700 units for smoke applications. So I am optimistic that these newer, smaller units will also work well. And the Air Pura T400 can be yours for the super low price of $670. And the T400 DLX can be yours for $710. So don't delay and don't forget you get a 10% discount off any of the Air Pura units with coupon code DZAIR10. I'll leave the links to the Air Doctor and Air Pura units in the description below. Next up, Eris. So as many of you know, iRobot is experiencing financial difficulties and they have shelved the Eris Air Purify product line and they are not currently making any more filters for it either. So Filter Monster has come to the rescue. And this past October, Filter Monster has made available replacement filters for the Aris 3-in-1 and the Aris light units in the United States. Now, as mentioned in one of my past videos, I don't know if the Chinese made Filter Monster replacement filters will be of the same quality as the ones that were originally made years ago in Switzerland by Aris. But either way, some replacements are now available and you can get them at the filter monster website or sylvain.com 
or even walmart.com as well. But I don't see them currently available on Amazon for whatever reason. I will put the links in the description. Next up, someone just went out of business. So there was an e-commerce indoor air quality company called Allergy Buyers Club, which had been in existence for about 20 years or so. And back in the day, they were pretty influential for certain product lines, and they eventually became a $20 million plus company. But they ran into some trouble a few years ago, and their original owner sold the company to a new owners. But after about five to seven years or so, the new owners have now decided to close the business down completely. So if you purchase your ear purifier from ABC, I like to call them ABC because Algae Buyers Club is just such a mouthful, right? So it's too much for me. <laughs> so if you bought something from ABC in the past and you try to email them or bring up their website, they are not blocking you and their tech team isn't on vacation. Actually, they're on permanent vacation as October 28th actually was their last day, unfortunately. A moment of silence. So, so now you know. Next, we have air pollution may be tied to obesity and diabetes. A new international study led by scientists from the University of Zurich and Case Western Reserve University found that long-term exposure to fine air pollution can disrupt the body's metabolism. In their study, mice were exposed to either clean air, filtered air, or air containing concentrated levels of PM 2.5 for six hours a day, five days a week, over nearly six months, similar to chronic exposure levels in large cities. At the end of the study, mice exposed to the polluted air showed clear signs of metabolic problems. Their bodies were less able to regulate blood sugar and they began to store more fat. Now, if you've learned anything about detoxification of the body, then this study will make a lot of sense to you, as our bodies will oftentimes try to dilute pollutants and poisons inside of us by surrounding the contaminants with fat. It can be a natural body defense reaction when some pollutants or poisons don't leave our bodies. I will put a link to the article below. And that brings us to another study. And this was a long-term U.S. study which suggests women living in areas with higher air pollution, particularly places with heavy traffic emissions, face an increased risk of developing breast cancer. The analysis, including data from more than 400,000 participants and over 28,000 cases of breast cancer, provides one of the most comprehensive looks yet at how air quality may influence cancer risk. This was combined with findings from five large-scale breast cancer studies conducted over several decades, tracking women across different locations for as long as 10 years before diagnosis. And they paired this information with pollution readings from more than 2,600 air quality monitoring sites to identify possible connections between exposure levels and breast cancer incidents. The data revealed that each 10 parts per billion rise in nitrogen dioxide was associated with a 3% increase in breast cancer cases. Nitrogen dioxide is a gas found in smog. The article link will be below. And finally, using wood-burning stoves at home could accelerate the decline of lung function. There was a study conducted led by Dr. Laura Horsfall of the University College London's Institute of Health Informatics, and she said, using repeated lung function measurements over an eight-year period, we found that lung function declined faster among solid fuel users compared to non-users, even after adjusting for socioeconomic and housing factors. This suggests an important link between solid fuel use and respiratory decline. Our study suggests that high levels of particulate matter from stoves damage respiratory tissues, causing inflammation in a similar way to cigarette smoke. So yeah, that's kind of scary. I grew up with a wood-burning stove during many winters in Pennsylvania, and even as a kid, I remember that I noticed that part of our couch which was closer to where the heat was being blown out from the stove, was turning a darker color over time. Our couch was light colored, and the part that was about six feet from one of the stove's blowers was clearly turning dark gray and even blackish. So I remember looking at that and thinking, hmm, doesn't that mean that some of the smoke is kind of being blown into our family room, like, on a continuous basis? Um... Anyhow, I was just a kid, so I didn't think about it too much. 
Professor Ann Johannesson of the University of Bergen, who was not involved in the study, said the findings mirror evidence from countries where wood burning is more traditional. She said there is strong evidence linking indoor wood burning to asthma, COPD, and lung cancer. She noted even newer design stoves may not be risk-free. People should be aware that stoves could be harming them and their families. Doctors need to ask patients about stove use when assessing unexplained respiratory decline. So I'm in Georgia and we'll oftentimes get people burning something like leaves or even like the tree stumps using their fireplaces and smoke coming out of their chimneys as well. And I know they aren't thinking about it and they're not intentionally trying to hurt people, but they are literally poisoning and ruining the air quality for so many people, even hundreds of people who are in somewhat close proximity to their burning. And these people want to go outside and walk or jog or walk their dogs, etc. And this oftentimes, you know, really kind of irritates me these days. Georgia has so many great parks and walking trails. It's amazing. I don't want to scare you, but I actually made a spreadsheet of many of the park options I can go to, and I have over 25 different walking park or trail options within 30 minutes of my front door. And when I drive to one of these locations to enjoy a nice walk in nature, I get really pissed if there's smoke in the air. And I have to just like, you know, get back in the car and leave, right? I'm sure some of you understand exactly what I'm talking about. Anyhow, I will leave a link for the article below. And that's the October 2025 Air Purifier Month in Review. If you want to see last month's Month in Review for September, please click here. And if I make a Month in Review for November, it will appear in this box over here. But I will make no promises. Thank you and have a great day.